What's up, Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Buy for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. And I promise you, there will be no Miley Cyrus twerking on the show. I know, I'm sorry guys, but we'll announce our Monster DNA headphone winners. So let's get to the news, and we're just two weeks out from the rumored September 10th Apple event. Bloomberg now claims that the expected iPhone event will include the introduction of new iPads as well. Now we talked about it last week, and I'm hoping it happens because that would leave October open for a possible new product announcement. <laughs> I watch. Oh, air's really dry in here. But honestly, do they really need an entire separate event for a refreshed iPad line that won't be a major update? Especially with Samsung expected to announce the rumored Galaxy Gear smartwatch at the IFA Consumer Electronics Show on September the 4th. Now Apple, they just need to come out with something. And I get it. Tim Cook has shown he knows how to run a company with mature products like the iPhone and iPad, but can he successfully deliver a whole new product category because that's what Apple's all about and 2013 has been a real snoozer so far. Now the flood of iPhone rumors and stories isn't stopping anytime soon. It's pretty much a given that we'll see a gold iPhone, but Sonny Dixon's blog recently posted pictures of the alleged graphite iPhone 5S giving us possibly four colors for the next phone. Then repair shop Mend My Eye, not my eye, posted a comparison photo showing off volume and power buttons in four colors, including the gold champagne and graphite colors for the 5S. Now you know it's never a good thing when different iPhone colors and a cheaper phone are being talked about more than actual features on a phone. And since we're talking about the cheaper iPhone 5C, if you don't think it's real, this picture from microblogging site Sino Weibo shows dozens of iPhone 5Cs being put through a testing process, and according to Engadget, the photo was taken at a Pegatron plant in Shanghai by a woman who recently joined Pegatron's quality control department. And if any of you really want to see and feel what an iPhone 5C might be like, all you have to do is just go to eBay. You'll be able to find a prototype 5C enclosure in multiple colors, and it's just like the real thing. All right, thank goodness one feature that's getting talked about is the rumored A7 processor chip inside the 5S. Now, there have been claims that the iPhone 5S will be roughly 31% faster than the current A6, and there will be a separate chip devoted to motion tracking for gestures like the Galaxy S4 has. 9 to 5 Max says they've heard that the big A has been internally testing 64-bit prototypes of the A7 chip for smoother animations, transparencies, and other visual effects in iOS 7, but it's not clear if we'll see any of these features. Now while we wait for Apple to come out with a brand new product, it looks like they've added a little extra snark to Siri. So when you ask her, OK Glass, that's the verbal prompt when you use Google Glass, Siri responds with something like this. I'm not Glass. And I'm just fine with that. Or this. Stop trying to strap me to your forehead, Brian. It won't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snaps! Oh my gosh. Now, that's been the Apple way of the past, but come on. It looks a little desperate when you're mocking a company who's innovating more than you currently are. And that's a bad Apple. <laughs> so don't hate, innovate. All right, on to the quick bites. The Cupertino kids have added new Apple TV apps including the Vivo Music Video Channel, the Weather Channel, Smithsonian Channel, and two Disney TV apps, Disney Channel and Disney XD. Yay. A new Apple job posting spotted by 9to5Mac shows that the company is looking for a new senior materials engineer to its iPhone and iPad materials team to create new plastic parts. So who else here can't wait for the iPad 5C? And have you seen this at your local movie theater? It's a Mac Pro teaser trailer being shown in theaters with a fall 2013 announcement. And honestly, would you rather watch this? Or this? You can go your own way. Does it get better? I'm just focusing on the kids. And today, with you, this feels like the first time I've looked up. Now, I like the Mac Pro, but uh, I'd actually like to find out more about the other movie. Hold on, make note to self. Hashtag safe haven. All right, let's announce our winners for the Monster DNA headphone giveaway. I asked you to send me a video of you doing a crazy dance, and so many of you came through like, look at this. A lot of you really embarrassed yourself for us. Now, I could only pick two winners, so congrats go to Chris Price, who was getting down with the homies. Thank you. 
That's enough. All right. And the weirdest one by far goes to Chancellor Perez, who really committed. And stick around to the end of the show, and you'll see what I mean. But congrats to both of you. We'll be in touch. And Monster is still doing a killer deal until August 31st to get 60 bucks off their custom DNA headphones if you go to the link right down here. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. Send me your questions or emails to theapplebyte at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time for another bite of the apple. I would have never done this unless I was trying to win something. Did it for the apple bite. This is for you, Brian. Hey. I've seen enough.